project to an end. Madam Speaker, I rise today to express grave concern over the Biden administration's decision to withhold uh, information that is of very much legitimate public interest uh, and concern. Uh, specifically, that is, the audio recordings of President Biden's interviews with special counsel uh, Robert her, uh, which were subpoenaed but have not been turned over and over which uh, the president has now made an assertion of executive privilege. Now, I have discussed uh, before the many, many legal problems, indeed absurdities, uh, with this assertion of executive privilege. But I want today to make perhaps a more important point, and that is that the administration is going out of its way to prevent the public from getting information that the public very much wants uh, and needs. During today's uh, hearing, a judiciary hearing with Attorney General Merrick Garland, I asked him uh, about Robert Herr and his report. I said, first of all, do you regret picking Robert Herr to be special counsel? And the Attorney General said no. I asked him about his statement when he appointed Robert Herr uh, about his long and distinguished career as a prosecutor. He stood by that, and the Attorney General stood by that. Moreover, he did not dispute any of the substance of Special Counsel Herr's report. For example, I asked him about Special Counsel Herr's finding that there was evidence the President willfully withheld class retained classified documents and Attorney General Garland uh, did not dispute that finding. Indeed, when, when uh, Special Counsel Herr himself testified uh, before our committee a few months ago, I asked Special Counsel Herr if a reasonable juror could have voted to convict President Biden. And Special Counsel Herr said yes. That is, that there was sufficient evidence to sustain a conviction of President Biden for committing a felony. Now, of course, President Biden has not been charged, or the special counsel did not recommend charges. And one of the reasons that he gave for not doing so was, quote, the president's diminished faculties and faulty memory. At other points referred to as poor memory, or his memory had significant uh, limitations. Special counsel Herr concluded that these factors would make it more difficult to obtain a unanimous uh, jury verdict. And so I'll say again the language from the report, diminished faculties and faulty memory. And these were the conclusions that Mr. Herr reached based upon his interviews with the president. And again, uh, Merrick Garland, Attorney General Garland, who is withholding these recordings, has not disputed any of the special counsel's findings. And so Merrick Garland and now President Biden himself is withholding the evidence that special counsel Herr used to conclude that the president has diminished faculties and a faulty memory. And there is nothing the president or the attorney general could say to dispute that. It is the inescapable conclusion of the fact that attorney general Garland continues to stand by the her report and to not dispute it. So that is a big problem because I am not myself offering any opinions here on the faculties or cognitive abilities of the president. I'm simply quoting the findings of special counsel her. And the public is very much concerned about these issues when it comes to the competency of the Commander-in-Chief. And I don't think anyone would doubt that there is a legitimate public interest in whether the Commander-in-Chief does have diminished faculties and a faulty memory. And so, again, the conclusion is inescapable that we now have the administration withholding this evidence that is of great concern to the public. And the basis on which they are doing so is almost uh, trivial. The basis on which they're doing so is that if they turn over these recordings, then somehow that will deter future witnesses from cooperating 
in future investigations because they don't want their words uh, to become public. The problem with that, let's take that at face value. Let's assume that it's true, that there would be a deterrent effect or a chilling effect. The problem is that the Justice Department has already released transcripts of the recordings. So if we are to weigh the interests here, there is the undeniable public interest in whether the president has diminished faculties and a faulting memory, as special counsel Herr reported. That's the interest on one side. And the interest on the other side is whatever marginal added deterrence there might be from releasing a recording over and above a transcript with the exact words from that recording. One would have to conclude that that additional deterrence effect, to the extent that there is any, is quite small, quite marginal, negligible, compared to the overriding public interest in the matter at hand. So there is simply no justification for the Justice Department to continue to stonewall or the White House to claim executive privilege. Indeed, it's even more disturbing in light of the fact that the White House tried to alter the Hur report itself. Special Counsel Hur testified to our committee that the White House did request to make edits to the report. So I am again calling on the White House and Attorney General Garland to release these recordings of which the public has a legitimate interest in hearing so that they can draw uh, whatever conclusions they might for themselves.